Okay, so we're back, you guys. Yeah. How you guys doing? Oh. This is actually 20 minutes later because I got sidetracked. I had to go and... Uh, oh. Trying to get myself together. Oh. Let's get out of here. By the way, this is Death Mart. Hope you guys are having a good day. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I know you guys are tired of me saying it, but the more we do it, the stronger we get. Now, we leave a shrine, walking down the beast trail towards the forest entrance. Maybe it's because the strange tale, but for some reason, I feel like someone's watching us from the darkness of the trees. Yeah, it's probably Christie's spirit. Maybe Christy's our spirit. Maybe she's just a spirit and we didn't know she was a spirit. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that'd be creepy. We, give in, uh, we begin driving back to the mansion. As we break out of the dense forest, I can see building lights pop up here and there. Well, that was a complete waste of time. Made my anxiety lift. I don't even bother to filter the words that <laughs> slip out of my mouth. Oh, I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Without a further prodding, Christy starts in on theory. In on her theory, passion evident in her voice. I believe Shimio was right. The shrine is definitely what causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's stolen. The, those these stolen statues. Sorry. So the reason why everyone's getting their so in her mind she thinks the reason why people are getting the marks and getting cursed with these marks that are killing them is because somebody stole something in the shrine. Wouldn't the Buddhists like just curse the whole city? Just like forget it. Let's just curse the whole place. Don't you agree? I wonder. It feels like we, ju we just don't have enough info at this point to say one way or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things are going on in the forest. It really is. Between all the suicides and Shimio wandering around, it couldn't be a coincidence, could it? If we research the shrine, we might learn more about the mark. I feel there's a, it's a lot safer than risking our lives looking for a spirit. Don't you think? You might be right. And we just sit quietly as we head back. Our replies are half-hearted, which isn't what Christy was hoping for. So she falls silent. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. Lord Puff. Please stop the car. Oh, she has to pee pee. She, Mary has to pee pee. Stop the car. Mary <laughs> speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. <gasps> Ooh, we get to see a new place, y'all. Ah! I've been waiting. I'm so tired of looking at the forest. I swear I'm so tired of looking at the, the forest. I was going to say that forest. What's this? What's this? What's this? Come on, I'm excited. Show me, show me. Following Mary's request, I parked the vacant rest stop on the outskirts of Eight City. Christy and I step out of the car. Ooh. Ugh. Uh oh. A mark is suddenly scalding. Is something nearby? Look! Someone's over there. Ooh, I get to make up some new voices. Let's see. Oh, look at her! A small girl steps out of the... Oh, she's... Okay, okay. I got the... I got the perfect voice for her. I have the perfect voice for her. Okay. Small girl steps out the uh, telephone box. Why is a kid outside at this time of night? <coughs> Hold on, because I am losing my voice, y'all. Thank you for bringing me here that this late at night, Ida. I got to talk to Hanano. 
Hanayomi? Hanayomi. Oh my god, these names. Oh yeah, glad to hear. I can't give this person names. I don't know if they look. Oh! Look at him! He's your typical anime loving, nerdy, chubby guy. You know, they, they, they run in Japan and in America. But I got the per I got the perfect voice for him. Oh, <coughs> I need a little fleen. <coughs> a rather young man appears, stepping out of the shadows. You got the question answers, Suzu. Suzu, Suzu, Suzu. I'm gonna mess up her name so many times. We call her Zuzu so many times. Yeah, it's okay now. Hanayomi sure is amazing, though. She knows where everything is. You got that right. She helped me find a limited edition and love and hero phone strap, strap I dropped. Huh? What's love and hero? She is so cute! I love her. She might be my thumbnail because she's so cute. What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over the TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV's restricted at home. Mom says it rots your brain. Oh, Ida, is the bus coming soon? Oh, the last bus is on its way. We better go. We'll be in big trouble if your mom finds out where we went. Yeah. She's so cute! You watch from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine the relationship. Look like brother and sister, or maybe neighbor and little child, which is weird. But maybe not. Like maybe he doesn't see anything weird about it. Cause you know, if you guys see anime, you always see the little girl with the big grown-up guy, and people don't question it ever. Like it could be her dad, it could be her brother, it could be anything to her. No one ever questions it. I'm just saying. The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy? What do you think? I turn, but Christy isn't there. Hey, you there! How do you know that little girl? Depending on your answer, I'll report you for child abduction. Oh god, Christy. Well, there goes Christy, hounding the poor guy. Just calm down. She is a handful. Part of me wants to just let her go. Like, like she's just, I mean, she's a reporter. So, of course, she's nosy. She's, you know, she has to be nosy. If you want to be a reporter, you got to be nosy. So, try to replace her. But she won't budge. I, uh, 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 I, 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 I. The man stumbles over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady. Oh. Her voice is a little higher. Don't be mean to Ida. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flustered guy behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I wanted to talk to Hanayome, so I had him come with me. Who's this Hanayome you speak, you've mentioned, sorry. A ghost who helps find things. People say you can talk to her from the telephone box. Why do they call it a telephone box? Why don't people call it a payphone? <laughs> a ghost, huh? She looks at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Earlier, the mark was hurting, so maybe. You guys look serious. What's going on? He nervously glanced between us. Does this scar look familiar at all? I showed them the mark on my arm. Hey, hold on. What is this? It looks exactly like mine. He pulls off one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. It's the cursed scar, yeah? I saw it in an article of Ope Arts Monthly. 
They say it causes amnesia, even kills you. But that's nonsense. It, it, it's not all true, right? Right? Sounds like he heard the rumors, but choose not to do anything about it. If I had a scar like that, I would have done something. That's no surprise, really. It's tough to believe it's real until your memory loss starts becoming noticeable. Well, I already got memory loss. I forget everything, so if it gets worse than this, oh man, I'm gonna cry. I got one of those too. It showed up on my left wrist when I made the phone call earlier. Pulling her sleeve, she shows her us her mark. They both have the mark. And after calling Hanayomi, it's more than a coincidence. Well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. We tell them what's going on and ask to them to go to Koju Mansion with us. It surprisingly doesn't take much to get to get them to come. Are you serious? Y'all just gonna jump in the car, a stranger? My mom would have killed me. My mom would have found me. If the person I jumped in the car would kill me, mom would have brought me back, killed me again. I thought it'd take more convincing. Yeah, that's what I thought. I could partially be because the it could partially be because the missing of the last bus while talking to us. Before they climbed in, I warned Mary to stay quiet until the, we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. Yeah, because when you get in the car with a stranger, you're already freaked out because you're worried. Like, what is this person's intentions? And then you got to sit here in the car and just be like, oh God, hopefully he doesn't kill me. <laughs> sorry, looking for my phone, you guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. First, we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Ida Nekam Nekamasu. I'm not saying his last name anymore. And the girl's name is Suzu Mariota. Mariota. Don't bash me with these names, you guys. They tell us they met through the reader's column of Oba Arts Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Haniyome and Ida told her what he knew. <coughs> then she passed her submit to bringing her into a rumored telephone box. They were they were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty strict. Her mother keeps a close eye on her after school and she needs permission to go out. So she snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed. I don't know. Mm, this might be uh, Suju talking. Hanayomi is just as famous at my school as Hanayiko is. Hey, Ida, please tell them about those rumors. Do I have to? Okay, fine. Ida reluctantly tells us as Shushu's regress. They're just rumors I read, but... Yeah. That was creepy. Oh, that picture is creepy too. That might be the thumbnail. Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone in H City. There's a ghost that looks like a bride and she'll find what you're looking for. My own Xbox scared me. One of my friends actually tried it. He went to a specific phone box to let you go, to let blah 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 that lets you talk with ghosts. The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone, but all he could hear was weird smacking noise. He stayed on the line until. Sorry, I had to burp. Wait, I didn't see that. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't see it. I had to turn away and burp. Oh, no. 
Can I look at the log? Okay. Did you see it? He heard a woman whisper. So he did what the rumor said to do and said, No, I haven't seen it. Then she said, what do you want to see? His cat has gone missing, so he asked where it was. When he looked where the woman said it was, it really was there. So the rumors are totally true. I want to go and ask for my future brides is now, where my future bride is now. Oh, want to come with me? Uh, no. You're good. You go by yourself, kid. You go all by yourself, honey. You just do you. There. It's d dang, did he slam her down? I carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the so That was not gentle. Y'all heard that. Thank you very much. Being in your oh sorry, <laughs> wrong person. Being in your arms is not bad, but I am most calm when I am here. Ah, the dog really talked. I can't say I expected that. Then does that mean all that stuff about the mark is true? On the way over, we update Shuzu and Ida with just about all they needed to know. They may not completely believe us. They're not rejecting it outright either. There's no reason to, and we're kind of like probably terrifying them. Seems like Ida is particularly has already experienced some memory loss. Something about forgetting the names of anime characters and voice actors. Christy looked at him strange, but he appears to be taking it quite seriously. And she was just snuck out of her house because she believed the rumors about Haniyome. They both believe in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find a way to escape the mark. Granted, they're also really cautious about Haniyome. Pardon me, but may I speak? The mark on Shuzu and Ida. They are likely from Haniome. And Lady Christie. The feeling of sense I sense from the mark is the same as theirs. So we can assume Haniome also gave you the mark too. Do you recall encountering her? Something weird did happen. Right before I entered the forest, I stepped in the phone box on T Mountain. The phone rang out of nowhere. Oh, it might be because of that. The telephone box at the rest area is also the rumor of Hanayome. But I didn't pick it up. It creeped me out so I, I left. I was never able to give that person one final call because of that. Uh, who are you talking about? It is not for children to know. Ugh. Fine. But there are other phone boxes like that. Uh, I think there are three that Hanaomi will call you from. The one we went to is a, a highway parking lot is one. And the Tea Mountain rest area. That's the one Miss Christie went to. And, um, Ida, where's the last one? At the park by Tea apartment complex. It's the only one inside the city. I think I'm gonna give a more raspy voice like this, like, like a little more like this. <coughs> oh God, that hurts a little bit. Not a lot, but I can give him that voice. 
But why just those three locations? Don't know. The BBS I read didn't say. Um, mister? Do you really think Hayomi is the one who gave us the marks? Um, I think so. But the rumors about Hanayome go five years. Go back five years, sorry. And no one's ever mentioned that you call her and you'll get a mark. She was right. Rumors about the mark thing only popped up re super recently, sorry. So you're saying Hanayome hasn't been giving out the mark? If that's true, I wonder what triggered the change. Maybe she's angry. Maybe th when they're angry spirits, that's when they start giving out the mark. Of course, I can't really say seeing as I don't know anything about the spirits. A ghost helping people find what they're looking for? That's pretty strange. Definitely the definition of ghost story. Hey, Mr. Puff. She talks as if I'm older than her. Am I not younger than her? I'm gonna look at my age. If those rumors are true, why don't we try asking where the stolen statues are? If we return them to their places, it might just save our lives. Search for the Buddha, Buddha, Boodoo. I said Boodoo, y'all. Search for the Buddha statue. If Christie's right, we might be able to escape the mark without fighting spirit. Mary, what do you think? A good question. Objects with the human forms are easily able to unexplicable power to gain a, unexplicable powers. Bleeding stone statues, cursed dolls. Uh huh? There are many examples. Mary, are you giving us a hint? Historical statues of gods and Buddhas would certainly be no exception. Asking Hariyome about them would be a good idea. So says the doll before our eyes that has an explicable powers to talk. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it wouldn't be strange that Buddha statue could bring down divine wrath. Lord Puff, may I add, as I explained previously, your mark is, it is different from the others. Vanquishing spirits seem to weaken your mark's power. It's been several days since you told me I was going to die. Taking care of the spirits we encounter is likely how I'm still among the living. What are you trying to say? I cannot say what the relationship between your mark and Haniyome is. But if it is true, it is in your best interest to track down spirits. I hope you will guide, you will guide these mark bearers. <laughs> Bless me. This evening as well. can't really picture Christy and Ida facing off against spirits by themselves. If they fell, then a child would suffer a deadly consequences. That would weigh heavy on me. No turning back. I'll figure something out. Thank you. Did she sneeze too? <laughs> Mary bows her head slightly. It sounds like she sneezed like me. <laughs> Oh god, I'm finna sneeze again. You laughing at Mary. Mary don't make me sneeze. Now you should begin investigating Haniyome. Why does she only call from three public phones within each city? Her secret may lie in the answer. You visit the parking lot already. Please investigate T Mountain and the park by T Complex. Apartment Complex. New info has been added to the rumors on it, oh man, and uh, to the spirit file. All right, so let me go and look before I finish, before I end this. Let me go to the bag, uh, people, maybe. Uh, where is Christy? 
doesn't give her doesn't give her age I thought we went somewhere where it gave the age didn't it give his age too <laughs> I don't see it maybe no those are just the people that we encounter sounds like someone's leaking something we have no tools no 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 I don't want to go to the okay so I guess I can't look um no I don't want to go to the screen Jesus goodness gracious partners I'm only switching around so I, I, I feel like Christy is like me and Christy the same age but she's not trying to give her age or whatever so 10 10 9 and 11 6 oh 15 she has she has decent spirit power I'm just saying Let's go to him. Uh. Um, okay, but I'm going to end it here, you guys. Thank you so much while I'm sitting here looking at this. Thank you so much. I do appreciate everything that you guys do. All your support, your love, everything. I will see all you lovely people in the next video. Bye.